Hello everyone, it's Janice May once again and uh, today I just want to share with you my finds from the different stores that I go to. Um, you're probably like me, you love to go shopping. In my case, window shopping, I just want to go around uh, department stores and just look at what's new and what's the new style and colors and all that. And I'm still um, going uh, to talk about the TG Maxx. TG Maxx is a store that I'd like to go to a lot for their home furnishings and kitchen stuff and clothes and shoes. But um, while walking there the other day, I found this. Um, they are scented drawer liners so they are very nice kind of paper and when you open it and you will just be it smells so good and you can smell it like when you're even at this distance so I thought wouldn't that make nice paper beads because the paper okay let me take it out it's like this so there's six and um they are five dollars and you can cut them long that way because the size is actually 23 by 16 Point five inches but I cut mine down to um, uh, I cut this part down to eight eleven and a half inches so it can fit into my my guillotine cutter I love using my guillotine cutter it makes cutting easy but if you don't have one just you know use scissors but the wrong side is white and this is where you can line and then cut right so this smells so good and you know the smell can stay for a long long time so I cut them two sizes this is uh, the base here is three fourth inch and I also cut few uh, of half inch so I'm gonna make beads with these and then we have to think of creative stuff on how to use them okay so I'll get to work I'm back and these are the beads that I made from the drawer liner paper uh, it is scented, it uh, has the smell of jasmine, and this actually smells really good even that far, you can smell it. So it's a, a very nice um, kind of, of beads to give as a present. Uh, these are not glazed because I'm not sure if I will glaze it, if the, the smell would retain so and I want to give it as like a potpourri type of of a, a gift where you can put it in a in a sachet bag or you can string them into a necklace you can hang it in the car or in your drawer or for Christmas if you're giving a piece of clothing like a pajama or a shirt and you can lay the strand of of this fragrant beads on the shirt and it comes out really nice just a really nice uh, presentation so there are different shapes of beads here this one I made by by rolling nine strips together uh, I think nine or seven and this is made using five strips of paper so I made them in different sizes so the the big one here that you see is just um, strips 
nine strips rolled together like so. So I'm going to show that to you very quickly. And as I am doing the rolling, you will be needing the bamboo roller. And this is what I'm going to be using. And I will be talking about possibilities that you can do with this. So I have ideas in my mind. So as you can see, I just uh, rolled, put the nine strips in between the bamboo roller. It's flexible enough to accommodate um, a few strips, I should say. So then it comes out to be saucer type of bead. Um, like I said, um, I want to uh, make it into like a potpourri type of beads where you put it in a sachet or if you want you can glaze it to make the beads permanent you know wear it as a jewelry I have to try and see if the scent or the jasmine smell would still uh, be uh, be there when uh, you uh, glaze it after glazing it so this is just white glue I'm just going to put it on top under the sides and then you continue rolling your beads like so so at this point I'm going to hold it like this okay and glue down the ends Okay. Now it's misshapen like a top, but you can fix that. Okay, let's take it out from the bamboo roller and you can just push this part in like so. And you have uh, the big chunky saucer bead. So then let's... Um, I will string it just to give you an idea of how it will look like to be given as a gift, as a scented, instead of a scented pouch or a sachet, it will be a scented necklace. It's not really a necklace because you won't be wearing it as a necklace unless you want to. Anyway, okay, so let's finish putting this together. I'm going to... Uh, make it like a necklace type where you can hang it in the car or you can put it on top of a clothing or even just like inside your drawer. This is not glazed because I'm not sure if the scent will be still uh, there on the paper if we glaze it. So I'm going to have to try it later on. But you can certainly glaze it to make it permanent. So if you decide to glaze it, we have the, the duo, the base and the vibrance, if you decide to glaze it. But for this purpose, I'm not glazing it. I'm just going to string, string it in this, in this cord. It's like a silk cord and some yarn to go in between. And I think that would be really cute. So... Uh, what I did with this is kind of a, a big yarn, so I need to uh, make the hole bit bigger by just, you know, uh, pushing it with, make it bigger with a skewer. So then you can start um, just stringing, stringing them. So um, the other thing that I did is that the holes, I mean, uh, the the tip of this cord, I stiffened it with a glue or a nail polish. That would work as well. So there is really no pattern or anything. I'm just going to uh, string it 
randomly or uh, maybe a pattern but I'm not going to put my uh, mind into it really and so let me string it and then come back when I have all strung them here in this cord. So what I'm doing here is I just put this fuzzy yarn which I had in my stash forever finally found a way to use them so this is why you never throw something away and just kind of loosely tie them in between uh, the beads so in this case I'm just doing three sections and I haven't tied the the neck strings yet so that I can still adjust it and like I said it's pretty like that you just now you have this it looks like a necklace can probably be worn as a necklace and it smells really good so it'll be like this you can put it on top of your drawer if you can smell this it smells really good or you can hang it in a door or in a bed post or um, in the car it gives out nice scent so there you have it just another idea from me to you till next time thanks for watching